Argentine Tango lecture series talking about the upper body and how we change from a more open to a closed position. What happens in the arm? So Betty has her wrist here, this far away from her shoulder. Now I'm going to move towards her and away from her, and if she'll just leave the hand right there, I can show you something. Don't move the hand. So as we get closer, do you see how the hand naturally wraps around? Yes? Now I'm going to ask Betty to do that. So she's going to hold her arm up. She'll walk into me, leaving the wrist out. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. And then all she has to do is close the connection. Yes? Let's do that again. So here, keep going, keep going, keep going, and close the embrace. So if I switch to follow, what we're not going to do is put the hand in front. Then if I try to go to a closed position, it creates pressure and a lot of, a lot of uh, attention here in the shoulder. So we leave the wrist away from the shoulder, and as we walk in, it naturally wraps. Elbow goes where it needs, and I just close the hand. So we'll do that again. So if the hand is, again, if it's on the front braced here, the gentleman's going to have a hard time changing to closed and back to open. So we leave it around on the outside. I'm going to invite her in and see what happens. Her elbow should shift forward with me. There it is, and it wraps, and we send her away. I call it a sliding arm connection, right? The other thing to offer for Carpa is I present my rib cage for Betty's height. I present my rib cage so she's got something to connect to. So watch the ribs this time. And I offer that in. And I'm giving her some support here while trying not to raise her shoulder. So she can push down a little bit and we find a nice position. 